everyone, it's Jessica, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a drugstore haul. So I've got a lot of different brands and different kinds of drugstore items that I've recently picked up. It's kind of collective over the past, I would say, month, if not even longer. But one in particular, a brand I've never tried, is MUA, which is Makeup Academy, which is um, available in the UK, or it has been for a while, but it's just now becoming more readily available here in the United States. So I picked up a few things from there just to kind of get a feel and let you guys know. So I'll definitely include swatches of these things and talk about kind of the wear time, etc. Um, so if you're interested, just keep watching. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the MUA items because I'm really, really excited to share them with you guys. So we'll start with the main thing that I'm wearing that I have a lot of feelings about. This is the MUA, I don't know what it's called. I'll list it right here. It's some sort of like liquid lipstick or like a matte dry liquid product. And it's in the shade number 202 Rose. And I'm wearing it on my lips today. It does dry completely down, completely matte. It, um, the brush I don't love, it's one of those kind of, it's like a true brush. It's not a, a doe foot applicator. The color is gorgeous, like I said, it doesn't transfer at all. I was just kissing my husband, Tyler, because he always focuses the camera for me and then leaves so I can film. So I gave him a kiss and he tried to kiss me here. I'm like, no, you can actually kiss me on my lips. It's not going to come off. He's like, whoa. I'm like, it really is good at that. But the brush kind of, because it's a brush, like some of the um, bristles on it have, are like a mess. So then it was getting outside my lip line. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then on top of that, it dries so quickly which is great but it's so dry you guys it is the driest formula i've ever tried like literally instantly the inside of my lips were like beaded up with dryness it was so gross and my lips aren't chapped right now they're not dry so there's not really a reason for it other than it's just the formula so that really disappointed me enough that i think i'll still wear this every so often because i do like the color at least as i'm getting used to it but i will not purchase another color in this um in this range because it's I'm not I'm not imp as impressed as I'd hope to be with that but sorry to end on a negative note because a lot of the other stuff is amazing so one of my favorite things from MUA is this eyeshadow palette it is called their nude eyeshadow palette <laughs> simple simple name it says exactly what it is um, and it's got 10 different shades and they are right up my alley I love this so much it reminds me of the Sonia Kashuk eye on neutral palette in a way but I like this even better they're all really, really pigmented, but not so much that you can't work with them. Like, I feel like with some palettes, even high-end palettes that I love, they can be difficult to work with because they're so pigmented that you're almost like, okay, what do I even do with that? You know what I mean? But these, they blend pretty well together. I'm wearing them on my eyes today. I know the lighting's kind of washed me out a bit, but... Um, I'm wearing them today and I, I love using them. Is this my favorite palette in the world like over my Lorac Pro palette that is just one of my loves? No. But is it amazing for the drugstore price and would I still recommend it no matter what? Yes. Because like I said, the color payoff's beautiful. It's a good range. They have, I think, two other palettes available here. I know one's more colorful. Maybe it's only one other. Um, I know if you're interested, Tati from Glam Life Guru has talked about a lot of these MUA palettes as well. And um, she's done some swatching, I think, and maybe even tutorials, I don't know. And she's used the brighter palette, so, but I really love this neutral one. And if you're like me, a neutral girl, I think you'll really like it. So, I also got some other MUA products for lips, because I wanted to kind of get an idea, because lips are kind of what I'm really, really, really into right now. So, this is a lip gloss they have. Again, they don't have the name of it, of the exact line. I'll list it there. Um, it's in number 110, Bare. And it just is this nude lip gloss with a doe foot applicator, which I like. But it actually packs some color. It is a true gloss. It's not like a, you know, um, a matte lipstick like this. But it actually has some color. And it's got that kind of nude, almost peachy color. So I've really been liking it lately. It's great at toning down really bright colors or dark colors. But it's also beautiful on its own. So I've really liked this. The... There's not really a smell, I don't think, at all, but I like the shade a lot, and it, it's pretty comfortable on the lips, so that is one I would recommend. I also got one of their lipsticks, just their MUA lipsticks, in number 251, Mauve. And, I mean, it's really, really creamy. It's a really, really pretty color. 
they're really pigmented. I was so impressed. Now, I've only worn this once because I did get these recently. So I don't know about wear time wise, like if it slides out your lip line. Because it is really creamy, I wonder if it would slide out like the corners of your mouth. Um, and for me, like I swear, like I like collect saliva when I talk. I don't know what's wrong with me. So for me, like that is a problem that when lipstick runs in the corners of my lips or outside the corners. Um, this is such a pretty color. I, I do want to try maybe some more neutral ones in this range because it's such, I just love that. The last, no, I got two more MUA items and then a bunch of other stuff. This is their Professional No Crease Eyeshadow Base. This is amazing. This is like concealer for your eyelids. It's amazing. Now it's got, it's just a squeezy tube and it's a nude color. So if you're a deeper skin gal, I, I don't know if it will work for everyone. That's what I'll say, which seems to be a trend anyway, unfortunately. But it really, it conceals, if you've got a similar skin tone, it completely conceals the area, which is awesome. And it makes your brow stand out even more, especially if you get it right up under there. And it holds on to shadow. Now it is, um, what I like about it is it's not super tacky like some of them are, but it's not really, really too creamy either. It's right in between. So I love that. I love it. I, I, am, I was so impressed with this. This is one that when I run out of it, and I will, I will repurchase because I already love it that much. The last MUA item I picked up is their Intense Color Gel Eyeliner. I got it in black. I am very impressed. I've been wearing this like crazy. It is very, very black stays put all day. It's gel-like in its formula, which I love. And I'll even use it to go on my upper lash line, kind of the tight line, but even more on like my water line. And it doesn't transfer down below. I love it so much. I kind of want to get, I think they have a brown in the line and I want to get that as well because I like to use brown on my lower lash line. Very impressed with this. And it's so wonderful when you can find a drugstore liner that works this well because I mean, liner is something I go through very quickly, especially black liner, so I'm so excited about that find. <laughs> All right, so I bought another lip product. This is from L'Oreal, and it's their... They don't have it named either. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm like the worst in this video, but it's their line of like kind of lip glossy stains. They're supposed to be reminiscent, in my opinion, of the YSL glossy stains because they're kind of a gloss, but they're a little bit of a different formula, almost gel-like. Um, this one's in Rose Melody, and it's a really pretty color, I think. It's right there. It's kind of light, but it's got a little bit of that peachy rose almost, and it's really comfortable to wear. They're not the exact same as the YSL ones. I compared them, but they do stay put for quite a while. I don't think they're as moisturizing as the YSL, but they're, it's such an odd formula anyway, so you almost have to get used to it. I remember owning one of these quite a while ago and hating it. But now that I've tried the YSL one, I'm like, okay, I get what it's supposed to be like, that it's supposed to stain, and it kind of feels weird, but it doesn't move, and no matter what it feels like, it looks really good, so it's very odd. So I'm still getting used to this as well. Um, I'm tempted to try other shades in the range, but we'll see how, I, how it fares with this one first. Um, so <laughs> I bought this Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Drama. And I was very unimpressed. When I first put it on, I was like, whoa, like my lashes looked amazing. But after a few minutes, they ended up flattening out. So I hate it. I've used it a couple days. I mentioned this in my, um, my October favorites in flops as well as um, a big flop for me. And I was so sad because I was ready to love it. And it looked amazing at first. And then it was just, and I tried it every single day, the same thing happened. So I'm like, you know, it's not worth it. <laughs> there are plenty of other mascaras I really like. So the last two things I picked up were two different foundations. This one is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. And this is one that I have, I might have even gotten rid of because the shade was just way too light for me. And I've realized lately that I have a much more yellow skin tone than I thought. Um, so to match my skin to my like neck and everywhere else, I need to be more cognizant of that. So I actually got a much darker shade than I would have thought I needed. This is in 842, which is medium beige, but I, it, it matches my skin, it matches my neck. Um, and I think it's because it's more of a yellow tone and as I blend it out, it's not as dark as you would think. Um, so I've been very impressed. This color is so much more correct for me, but the formula is nice. I think it actually stays put pretty well, um, especially in comparison to the next foundation, which is this Ready, Set, Gorgeous by CoverGirl. I had heard so many people say they loved this stuff, 
And I saw it and they were, this was buy one get one half off and that's why I got both and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. So I got the shade 210, which again is more yellowy and it, it's a pretty good match, but it oxidized within hours. Now I haven't tried it with a primer yet since I just got these, but I am gonna try it with a primer. I wore it just on its own, which is what I do with most foundations anyway. But my skin, I mean, any of my hyperpigmentation and freckles just came right through. Um, and it just did not look good by the end of the day. I would say by a couple hours into the day. So I definitely need to wear this with a primer and see how it works. But so far, not loving it. But I want to definitely give it a try since I know so many people do love it. So let me know below if you do, if you are one of those people that love this. What primer are you using with it? Because I'm so curious and I want to love it as well. I mean, I spent my money on it, so I want to like it. Um, so those were all of the new items I'm trying out right now. I get tons of different things sent to me from companies and I don't always show them. A lot of them are higher end ones and since I love drugstore and that is what my channel is rooted in and what I love, um, I don't always like to show all of that. But if you are interested, let me know because I'm thinking about doing maybe like every few months like a, a, I don't know what to call it, like products that companies have sent me or, um, you know, that way I can show them to you guys, let you know kind of my initial thoughts on them or so you can see what's out there. But I don't want that to like take over my channel. So let me know what your ideas are because I, I need some, some inspiration when it comes to that. It might be a very new kind of a video, but I'm interested to maybe try it. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Don't worry, I'm not leaving the drugstore in the dust. That's never gonna happen, so don't you worry your cute little face. Alrighty, so I'm gonna leave you guys alone now. <laughs> so this turned into a longer video than I envisioned, which happens all the time. Wow, I'm just chatting up a storm today. Anyway, okay. So I can link my drugstore makeup review videos and hauls down below if you are interested in those. I've got all kinds of playlists. And if you enjoyed, I hope you'll subscribe and join our little jammer family here. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.